Are you talking about the fur? <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, what about the fur? <laughs> Do we know that... what color they were? No. <laughs> we have our ideas. I'm Dr. Myrene Belisi. I'm the Augustan Family Curator of Paleontology at the ALF Museum of Paleontology and a research associate at the La Brea Tar Pits. Recently, the world received this exciting news. Three wolves were created from gray wolf cells that had their genetic code rewritten. The pups are also really cute. That said, are they dire wolves? I would say not. Dire wolves were these large dog-like animals that used to live in the Ice Age right here in Los Angeles and really also across the Americas. I don't think that we can ever bring back an extinct species for multiple reasons. Genetically speaking, the fossil dire wolves that were sampled for the new genome, they are from about 72,000 years ago and 13,000 years ago, and that is quite a long time ago. Their genomes are not complete. We can never have the full picture. There's also morphological or phenotypic aspect of it. Body size we can infer from the size of bones, but soft tissue features like the shape of the ears and also um, coat color um, are more difficult. And third, thinking about behavior or ecology or function. We can say that is their ecological function to be an apex predator. However, I think that that simplifies what ecological function is that role is also determined by everything else around it. It's difficult for us to create an animal and then to say, oh, we brought back this species when it is in a vastly different ecosystem from the one that the original one used to live in. It's one danger I see. If we think, oh, we can just make these animals and replenish a dying species, it's just a band-aid when we need more systemic efforts.